you search by nature, you're going someplace where no one's gone before. You're asking a question that hasn't been answered before. Now, I wouldn't be here talking to you or as a professor at Northwestern if it weren't for my own undergraduate research experience. And I, so I feel very, very strongly that that's one of the most important things we could do. Critical zone is that part of the, the surface of the earth that is actually critical to our survival. So if you think about soils, because we need soils to grow food, waterways, rivers, groundwater, the atmosphere because we need the air, and the ecosystem that is interacting with all those, that is the critical zone. The critical zone observatory can be viewed as an outdoor laboratory, and we're trying to capture different parts of the U.S. Uh, to try to understand how those soil, water, air systems operate. So we're in the intensively managed landscape CZO, IML CZO. And the intensively managed landscape refers to the agricultural land, which is highly engineered. What we're trying to figure out is what, what is the impact of all our engineering on the landscape? And how is it going to behave in the future with climate change and increased use. What I've worked on for most of this year is in Iowa at the Clear Creek uh, stream site. And so I've been filtering water samples from the stream uh, at different locations throughout the stream and um, basically analyzing like the carbon content over time. The carbon content in the stream can tell us what type of like agriculture uh, is making its way into the river. So around Clear Creek in Iowa is a lot of agricultural fields. I mean, though it can seem kind of like tedious and it can take a long time to do the filtering, I think it's really interesting to see the results and then to also know that there is like a team of CZO critical zone scientists that are like paying attention to the work we're doing that's also kind of motivating. <laughs> Undergraduates bring to the table so much energy and curiosity. Uh, that can't be beat. That is why I want to be a teacher, is to feed that. Uh, it is often challenging just because undergraduates have their own lives, they have to take courses, and so they don't always own their schedule completely. Everything is all on your own, um, like your own time, your own motivation, so at times it can be a little like difficult to get organized and just schedule yourself. When dealing with the challenge of like scheduling or being self-motivated, like find a topic that you're interested in and then you're naturally gonna want to like gravitate towards it. My role has definitely changed among the undergraduates. I started when I was a freshman my winter quarter and I didn't know any of the techniques. I didn't know how to use any of the like machines or the like programs. So over time I would shadow like other undergraduates and I would work with the graduate student, especially like over the summer. And so now I'm in like more of a leadership position within the lab where I'll be training other students like how to use certain techniques or I will be giving a presentation on like how to write grants so I never thought I would do that like one year ago. <laughs> I am the only freshman undergraduate in Professor Blair's lab. I am the youngest and I have the least amount of experience in working in the lab. Nina has only been there one year more than me, but she already knows so much more. We meet up during uh, whenever I go into lab. She teaches me new things and after she teaches me, I do it on my own while she watches and kind of rinse and repeat for all the other techniques they have in the lab. Well, I do hope some of them will 
In the best world is that they will find the same pleasure that I have found in research. It'll be a calling, as it were. I'd say there are very few other colleges out there who will be so open to have undergraduate in research. I think it's something that people feel like they have to get started in early. I just started my senior year. Research is not just lab coats and like petri dishes. You could do it like in the psychology department, sociology, like there's so many different topics that you could do research on. So just find something that you're interested in and just like jump right in.